So this is a little review on the Blue Ink Tech Air Scale. So for this load, on the steer axles, there was a 220 pound difference. On the bit air scale, it was lighter. But for the drive axles, there is a 43 pound difference. And for the trailer axles, there is a 75 pound difference. And for the total weight difference, it was 188 pounds. So the bit air scale was actually pretty, pretty close. And uh, yeah, I like it. I mean, that's not too far off. Maybe I need to calibrate it a little bit more. But even then, if you're at a place and you want to scale your truck right there, then you kind of have a pretty good idea if you're going to be good or not with this uh, bit air scale. So I say it's worth it. I'm going to try calibrating it again, but so far, so good. I'm going to give it, I'm going to, I'm going to keep giving reviews though. So we'll see what happens. Good morning, you guys. It's Monday morning, 2.45 AM. We are headed to San Jose. We are about three hours away, about two and a half to three hours away. We have an appointment at 6 a.m. So let's start heading over there. And uh, before I forget, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to hit that 1K. Well, let's go. We stopped at the Loves here in Lodi, California grab some coffee and I don't know I was a little bit hungry right now it's 418 saying we're gonna be there at 550 a.m. so it's gonna be close but we'll make it Go, buddy. You gonna go or what? There you go. Man, there's like a 30 minute delay because either there's hella traffic or there's an accident. But how's there, how's there this much traffic at 4 50 a.m. in the morning over here in Tracy? So I had to come around and flip it because I'm going to be parking where that trailer is at, right next to it on the left hand side. And I couldn't, I came in the other way, so I have to back up in there. All right, we made it here at 6.15, 15 minutes late, but we got a dock. So let's see how long they take, and I'm going to start looking for loads. 8.19, and we are unloaded. Yes, sir. Look at that car on the right. I'm here in Gilroy, California, Garlic Farm, Plaza, Gas and Diesel. So yeah, there should be a truck wash around here. We'll find out though. I've never been here, so I gotta figure out my way around here. So it's uh, $97 for a truck wash. I think that's like normal price but i've also been places where it's cheaper but also more expensive too so let's get up in here Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is for my trailer light on the skirt, on the side skirt. And shout out to Untamed Squirrel, one of the subscribers. Uh, he told me about this. So we're going to try this out. Hopefully it works and it keeps my, uh, my light in place because it would pop out. Right, so I'm gonna keep one strap and one load lock in here. For those of you that, well, one person commented, oh, I'm assuming that you just throw your trash on the ground whenever you blow out your trailer. Well, guess what? I don't, I'm not that type of person. I just, on my other videos, I just don't really record this, but gotta prove to you guys sometimes and that's cool I, I mean i i can see why you guys assume or why that person assumed is because a lot of drivers do do that and i do see that a lot yeah so right now i'm gonna air up my tires i got this hose that i think every truck driver should carry And you just connect it to your, uh, there's a glad hand on it and you just connect it to your air hoses on the truck. It's very simple. And you guys need to get one of these, watch, I'll show you guys how it looks. So you connect it to your truck, turn it on, then push your tractor brakes in. See how I connected that? How you do it? Then you come in here and you press your trailer. got done washing the truck drying it up putting on a tire shine uh, I was blowing out the trailer cleaned out the trailer from the inside because what we're gonna pick up next is, has to do with food and uh, what else did we do we aired up all of our tires on the tractor I didn't do the trailer so yeah we've been here for like an hour and a half doing all that it took some time but we had time to kill our appointment isn't until 2 p.m. to pick up in uh, Watsonville and we deliver to Riverside, California tomorrow at 5 a.m. So, yeah, we're just chilling here. It says right now, if we leave right now, we'll get there at 11.30. So, I think we're going to show up like three hours early and see if we can get in. All right, we're here in Watsonville, California. We're here at the... Uh, this is the truck entrance. I guess this is a Martinelli. Apple cider? Isn't that an apple apple cider? Martinelli? Or am I tripping? 
I've actually been here before now that I think about it. So we need to park here on the side, on the left hand side and uh, go check in. Yeah, so this ended up falling out. I guess this rubber piece is just too big for that hole. I need to make the hole bigger, so I might have to buy something to cut it out a little bit more wider. Because the black, with that black rubber thing, it wouldn't go in all the way, so. Yeah, fell out when I was driving here. This is my lunch. Shrimp cocktail from yesterday it has squid, octopus, shrimp, crab meat, and then, uh, I don't know what this is called right here. Uh, I don't know what that's called, I forgot. It's bomb. We got a door! Door number three! She's not perfect. She's not a Peterbilt, but I love her. I guess what I'm trying to say is just value what you have right now. And appreciate it which i do i appreciate it a lot because if you could appreciate the little you'll be able to appreciate everything else like there's some people out there that say oh i don't like my car blah blah, blah it sucks and they don't appreciate it or take care of it well what makes you think that when you get something nice you're going to be able to take care of it and appreciate it and be happy with it because material things don't make you happy I mean, they will for a little bit, but not forever. All right, so they had a public scale, like down the street. sure you're gonna have to pay so it's not free i think but at least they got a scale to half a, half a mile down the street from where they're at so the guy told me to back up i don't know why Got me some quesadillas from that taco truck over there. We got about two, three more hours to go. All right, we're here in Riverside. We're about half a mile down from Ralph's distribution center. Found a good parking spot on the side of the street. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna call it a night and wake up around four. Our appointment's at five and hopefully everything's good and everything checks out. And no, that is not nail polish. That is, we put it on your fingernails so you don't bite them because I'm addicted to biting my nails. So when you when I bite my nails and I have that on, it tastes like crap. It's 4.40 a.m. We are pulling up to Ralph's here in Riverside, California. First time here, so see how it goes. The way it works here, I guess you just check in at that guard shack. And then they tell you to drive over here, make a ride at the, at the end. I guess there's a staging area parked there and then uh, go check in somewhere else. 5 a.m. door 136. Just parked in this dock, so let's see how long they take to unload us here. 5 a.m., so let's see. Sheesh, it's uh, 6.55 a.m., so about two hours for them to unload us and get our paperwork. Hopefully they put our load lock, yep load bar so let's go get that paperwork 